Hey guys, welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. We've recently restructured the business and now I get to spend less time packing cart parks into boxes and hopefully more time making tech videos for you guys. And we asked you the other day what sorts of things you'd like to learn. And um, I thought I'd pick an easy one to get myself back into the groove. So I've chosen one from Jared Uchtman who asked, how much time will I lose per lap if I'm five kilos over the class weight? Jared, the answer to that is, I'm not exactly sure. Depends what class you're in and it depends what track you're at. But the great thing is that now with the AKA CMS system, sorry, I should say Karting Australia, with the CMS system, we can look up times for the various different classes and we can work it out for ourselves. So what I've done is I've jumped online and I've looked at the times for tag restricted light and tag restricted heavy at my local track, Todd Road. So what I recommend is picking a race meeting that was relatively well attended to make sure that you've got someone who's right on the pace in each of the classes that you choose. Um, if you've only got a couple of entries in each class, you can't be sure that those guys were absolutely at the, uh, at the real pointy end of the field. Whereas, so I've chosen the Vic Championships round two as my, as my race meeting because I can be pretty sure that those blokes were right on the pace. So what we're gonna do is create a simple formula. Now, I know that not everyone that watches this blog loves maths as much as I do. And I'm sure some of you, if you're still at school or when you were back at school said, why are we learning algebra? When are we ever gonna use this stuff? And the answer is we're gonna use it right now. So let's, uh, let's do a bit of maths. So the first thing we're gonna do is subtract the fast time from the slow time. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the heavy time minus the light time and see what result that gives us. So at the Vic Chance round two, Stefan Moore, uh, beg your pardon, Peter Gigas in, uh, in Tag R Heavy did a 43.914. And we're gonna subtract from that the time that Stefan Moore did in light, which was a 43.296. And when we subtract those from each other, we come up with the result, which is 0.618 of a second. So the first thing you wanna do when you grab these times is just switch on your bullshit detector and say, does this seem legit? And the reason I say this is because I initially tried to use the times from the final of this event, and there was about a two and a half second discrepancy between the light and the heavy time, which didn't seem right to me. And of course it turned out one of them had been a little bit wet. So the first thing to do is before you go right through and finish this calculation, just have a look at the times and think, does this seem reasonable? And I reckon six tenths around Todd Road from light to heavy seems pretty normal to me. It's generally around about that much. So what we're then gonna do is take that 0.618 and we're gonna divide it by the number of kilograms of difference between the two classes. So from light to heavy in this case, we're dividing it by 20 kilograms. So 0.618 divided by 20 gives us 0.0309. So what that is, is the amount of time we expect to go slower per lap per kilo we are heavier. So essentially around Todd Road, for each kilo you are over the class weight, you can expect to be costing yourself about three hundredths of a second. And what's important to realize is this, uh, this time will vary from track to track. So an example of a really long track like Ipswich, I did the same calculation and I came up with a number closer to 0.04 of a second for every kilo that you are over. Uh, so to answer your question, Jared, if you're at Todd Road and you are racing in tag restricted, if you're five kilos over the weight, then we'd expect you to be five times 0.03, which is 0.15 one five of a second slower. So about two tenths of a second slower for every five kilos that you are over the weight. Hope that answers your question. Thanks very much for asking. You're the first guy to get a $20 voucher. Uh, we'll be back with another next week. Thanks guys.